Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice exchange of equation to find the value of x and y? Where x is not equal to y from here, let's label this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. In the first step, let's subtract equation 2 from 1, that is equation 1 minus equation 2, and this we emphasize on the left hand side, equation 1 we have x squared minus y then minus equation 2 left hand side that's y squared minus x <coughs> then equals to here we subtract 1 is 3 minus 1 is 3 becomes 0 then from here minus open this bracket and this becomes x squared minus y squared minus y squared now then plus x equals to 0 from here then from here now we take this point together so we can say this is x square minus y square then we have plus x then minus y now equals to zero then from here we have this to be difference of two squares then this will be x plus y times x minus y then plus x minus y which is equal to 0 so here we can put this in bracket and what we have we can factor x minus y out so we have x minus y out now then into bracket what is left here x plus y then what will be left here will be 1 that's plus 1 which is equal to 0 so from here we are going to have two cases here that is the first x minus y equals to 0 or we have x plus y plus 1 equals to 0 on this side x equals to y and we establish that x is not equals to y from here then here we can conclude that x will not be equals to y here then from here x plus y now let's take minus one there i mean take one there become minus one so x plus y equals to minus one here and let's divide it as equation three and uh, in the next step let's add the two equations that is equation one plus equation two now and this implies on the left hand side what we have in equation one x squared minus y then plus what we have in equation 2 that's y square minus x then equals to what we have on the right that's 183 plus 183 and here this becomes x square plus y square then we have minus x minus y when we rearrange then when we sum this together we have 366 from here then in the next step we can take minus x and minus y there so we now have x squared plus y squared here equals to 366 plus x plus y and what we have there plus x plus y x plus y from equation 3 that's minus 1 so we can now say that x square plus y square since this is minus 1 now we now be 366 minus 1 that's 365 and we write this as equation 4 so in the next step from equation 3 now let's square both sides of equation 3 so from the equation 3 we have x plus y equals to minus 1 then square both sides from here then the square on this side becomes x square plus y square plus 2xy on this side then equals to minus 1 square will become plus 1 then we can substitute from here the value of equation 4 that is x squared plus y squared equals 365 
So here we come 365 now. Then plus 2xy equals to 1. Then from here, we now have 2xy here now equals to 1 minus 365. And we have 2xy equals to minus 364. Then divide both sides by 2 from here to get xy. So that xy here now will now be equals to minus 182 from here. So xy gives us minus 182. Then to get x minus y, so as we can solve with equation 3, which is x plus y, from this identity which is x minus y all square. When we expand it, this will give us x squared plus y squared minus 2xy. And uh, from here we have x minus y all square now. It then be equal to here we have the value already from equation 4, which is 365. Then minus 2 times xy. Here we get minus 182, and here we now have x minus y all square. We now be equal to 365, then plus 2 times this gives us 364 from here. Then when we add this together, this is x minus y all square, and now be equal to they give us 729 from here. Then square root on both sides. So that square cancel square root here. And this becomes x minus y now equals to plus or minus 27. And that means here we have two cases of x minus y. The first we have x minus y equals to 27 and the second we have x minus y equals to minus 27 now let's solve each of these with equation 3 which is x plus y equals to minus 1 and also x plus y equals to minus 1 when we hide from here then this becomes 2x equals to we have 20 6 from here and we divide both sides by 2 on this side such that here 2 cancel out and x here equals to 13 from here then to get the value of y we can make use of this equation and we make y the subject so y now equals to minus 1 minus x from there so we use this to get y now and when we substitute here that means y here will now be equals to minus 1 minus 13 and y here equals to minus 14. So the value of x comma y on this side, let's say x1 y1, will then give us 13 comma minus 14. Then similarly on this side, we can solve these two equations simultaneously as well. And we add by eliminating y. So this gives us 2x. Then equals to here we have minus 28. Also divide both sides by 2. And uh, here x we have equals to minus 14. And uh, use this to get y now. Also from here, which is y equals to minus 1 minus x. So that y now equals to minus 1 minus and x is minus 14 so that means y equals to minus 1 plus 14 which is 14 minus 1 and y equals to 13 so now the second set of solution here we can now see that x2 comma y2 now will then give us minus 14 comma 13 so here we have these two solutions and the, we discover the x here is the same thing as the y here and the y here is the same thing as the x here and here we have come to the end of this program thank you for watching
Don't forget this step. Subscribe for more exciting videos. Turn the notification bell on. Share this video. Give a thumbs up. Put your comment in the comment section. Then, see you next class and bye for now.